We are in quarrels. We are acting on people. A quarrel war. Some of our classmates. We can't give thanks. And remember, giving thanks is a form of offering and worshiping God. sustained us. Why do we have to worship God, lift our hands? Why do we have to sacrifice that tithe, that offering? It's because you have learned that money is not everything. There is one who sustains you. It's not that my parents were so able and they were affording all shopping from all supermarkets. That is why I'm here. I'm here because God has sustained me. Many people died at the point when you were born. In fact, some never saw the Yahoo. I talked to a friend of mine who is a mortuary attendant and told me that there are children who die at the point of their birth and then they are not even buried at their home. When a grown up or an adult has died, they put those children down there. So, how come is that heavy? Kupe kuna watoto kama wawiri ama watatu wamewekwa huko. It happens. What am I saying? God has made sure that you didn't die at a very tricky point of your life. I also speaking to a friend of mine who is of my age and is telling me I only have one child and I cannot try number two. The reason is, when I was getting uh, to give birth to that firstborn of mine, I went to ICU for two weeks. What I went through, I am scared to go through it again. My husband told me that he was told to sign because he could lose the child or the man. But luckily and by God's grace, both were saved. Maybe when you are being born, your mother went through such a circumstance. So we did come to God because at that tricky moment, and my dad was forced to sign. I'm a man, I'm a of you. But God made sure in such a tricky moment he did that. There is not about education, there is not about money, there is not about connection, there is not about who is your father. But it's about God making sure everything went right for you. 
And that is why we need to worship God. That is why we need to come to church and offer. That is why we need to give thanks. Because we want to appreciate God for what He has done in our lives. And that is why we need to make sure when we come to church, we are quiet. Because when we are vulnerable, when dead or so near, He is sealed us and made sure that we do that. Number two, we give thanks to God. Because in our last case scenario, it could have been worse. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you get one by. What are we saying here? Maybe let me give a relevant example with myself. Two incidences have happened in my life, and I know you get one by. Come on, make sure it was not so. When I bought my first car, I was going to marry via Ozaya, and I need a call a appointment. This guy is sleeping. Wake him up. But I need a place called Nasada from Ozaya. To come to another group. Even to the sun. What happened is, I tried to avoid head on collision. But in a couple of minutes, I saw myself rolling in that car. The car was written off. I did drive that car again. But I did come out even with an injury. I remember those who came, I think it was Mr. Kashok and Mr. Kabir. Because when I called, they were very quick to come. They told me, let's go to hospital, right? I thought there was a call for some. But I was in touch. But the other guy, I, I didn't try to do it. What am I saying? You are not happy. How about what you're going to I, I remember I to my statement and I don't know, go with me. And he died on the road accident. Meaning, meaning, I know that in such a circumstance, I'm not bad at it. In my last case, I get to the fire. But God shielded me. So I come to worship God. I show, I, I, I show him seriously because I know he gets one by. I don't have stories to tell you. But you all know, apart maybe from the 4th 